So you actually load a song and while playing, you get to, you know, adjust the EQ settings a little bit. Okay. And then you would want to reset it. There are two ways to do this. You can either map a key on your keyboard and then set it to reset the EQ or you can let virtual DJ reset it when you, you load a new song. That is what my configuration is actually. So with this one, if I load a new song, it's reset. But probably I am, I played with the EQ a little bit. Okay. And then I just want to reset the EQ whilst I have this song, the same song loaded. What I can do is, as I said earlier, map a key for it. Or I'll just double click on it like this and then they come back to default. But for this video, I am going to demonstrate how to um, change it in the option and then how to also set a keyboard for it. So first of all, let's look at the option part. Okay. So let me just reset these ones again. At options here, I'll just search EQ. On EQ under automation, it says what? Reset EQ on load. And that one is set to yes. That means that anytime I load a new song, the EQ reset. Okay. But what about I have this same song playing and I wouldn't want to use my mouse to double tap on each EQ settings, but I just want one key to perform that. Now let's go to the keyboard mapping. So settings and then mapping. And I actually configured H for this one. So for my H, I usually play with the crossfader as well, right? So for the H, I said it should bring the crossfader to the middle as 50% and also reset the EQ. Okay. So let's see what happens if I press the H key. So pressing the H key, you can see that it performs the three together it also works for the stems okay pressing any of the eq names will change the stems let's say if i also play with it the same configuration works for it so pressing the h it will reset it anyway so that's just about it kindly put it into practice and then give me feedback in the comment section the name is ken kobe and i'll come here with another video let's make music not war